Welcome. In front of me I have a Realme C55 and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this device. Now, to get started, uh, there is a reason I have another phone right here because for this process we will need a second phone and that phone doesn't need to be like whatever I have. It can be any kind of Android device. I have some Redmi, uh, I think it's 12 Pro, but you can have any other device as long as it's able to download from the Play Store uh, clone phone application, uh, then you're good to go. Now, I believe this phone right here comes with some kind of like clone phone app. I'm gonna check it. So we have Oppo. Uh, that's one plus Let's see if I have anything on here already uh, with like clone or whatever there we go there is a search nope okay so I do need to download one now when it comes down to downloading this I believe all the ones that are just labeled clone phone so Apple um, the one plus version one and and I think this one Although, oh, that's Huawei, so not this one. So yeah, I believe, come on, go back. Uh, I believe these two will work, all both of them, but I can test it out. I'm gonna download the specific OnePlus one. We'll see if it actually functions. So this is uh, one of the things that we wanted to do. So I, I'm already done downloading it. I'm gonna open it up, I grant all the permissions that it needs, so. Now, when you have apps like that, where it shows you a list of apps, as you just seen for me, uh, you want to find it. You want to find the name of the app, which is Clone Phone, and then click on it, and then grant whatever permission is in there. Okay, and we're good to go. As you can see, the camera is now working. So I'm gonna lock the device, move it to the side, and we're gonna stick with our locked device right now. So, to get started, um, I'm gonna just quickly mention, you can see that the phone I have right here is locked, so it tells me to draw the verification pattern to continue, uh, but obviously if you don't know it, you can go close it, and it will tell you to use a Google account instead. So, assuming we don't know either of those, I'm just gonna guide you to, well, completely removing this. So number one, we're gonna just quickly open up my guide. So, just a moment, I'm gonna, should have probably had that ready before I started. So, uh, from here, we're gonna navigate to Wi-Fi connection page. Uh, so if you're at the very beginning of the setup, just progress forward if you're uh, already here or really, or further back, like, uh, or further forward, then just go back to right here. Now, I am connected to network, but I don't think I am catching it here. Though I guess I am, surprisingly. So that's what I'm gonna use. Now, if it might cause me some problems later on, if it does, I'm just gonna switch to another network. But anyway, from here, now once you connect to your network, which you do need to do, uh, you wanna click on that connected network. Oh, no, never mind, not the connected network. When I click on, which one is it? Now I'm just gonna connect to, ah, there we go. So once I clicked on it, uh, on a different one, it opened up a page that we we're looking for. So what you're looking for is to have this kind of eye icon. That's basically what we're missing right there. So from here, we're gonna click on it and then it gives us the options. So we want to now select share. From here, we're gonna select nearby. And we're gonna choose turn on. Give it a second, need help sharing. So this blue text right here, come on. There we go. Give it a second. Once it loads it up, you wanna click the three dots and then select share article. 
I'm gonna then select the messages. There we go. Messages. New message. Now in the field uh, two, just type in any numbers. It does not matter what kind of number you put in. Uh, we're not actually sending a message to anyone. So we're gonna now select check mark. And then it gives us the pop-up right here. So we can now send a message. Now it automatically pastes in the article that we have selected. So we're gonna hold it. We're gonna remove this article, the link for it. And now we're gonna type in youtube.com. Now keep in mind, uh, there is one important part of this. We need to start with the www youtube.com now this is very important uh, contrary to what you might think uh, when you don't use the www beginning it, and you try to open up the link that it will create it will open it up in a pop-up window we don't want that this will completely f up everything and you need to restart the or reset the device and start over so make sure you add this beginning Now, when you type in the www.youtube.com, it will then allow us to open it up in an actual application. As you can see, I don't have the SIM card, so it didn't send the message to anyone. It creates this link right here. Uh, you want to tap right here on this little tap to load preview, and then simply click on the image. And there we go. It opens up YouTube and its own application, which is what we needed. Like I mentioned, if for you it opened up in this kind of like little window that isn't on your full screen, uh, then just make sure you tap or add the www. But you will now need to completely uh, go through a factory reset of your device once more. Now anyway, progressing further, we're going to tap on the account icon and then we're going to select settings about Google privacy policy, accept and continue, and no thanks. And this will load our website. Now from here, we're gonna navigate to hard reset.info. Just select no thanks. So we're gonna lo loca locate, uh, we're gonna uh, navigate to hard reset.info slash bypass. I'm gonna type it in myself. And if you need a moment to copy it once you see the link, just pause the video. So now would be the time to pause. Now from here, we're gonna scroll down. For some reason, it opened up a new page. I'm gonna close it, there we go. Uh, so we're gonna scroll down to Google search app right over here and click on it. And then we're searching or actually gonna not search, but we're gonna say uh, open uh, the clone phone or open the phone clone app. So I'm going to check out both of them uh, because technically the app is called clone phone, uh, but they, they as in uh, Realme, Oppos and all those other companies that use the same application, they changed it so Google can't actually open it up by saying the actual name of it. So you need to like flip the words sometimes. So we'll see if that is the case right here. But Anyway, progressing, we're gonna tap right here on the microphone. And I'm gonna start with the phone clone. Let's try it again. Open the phone clone app. So that's not it. Let's try it again. Open the clone phone. Nope. Open the phone clone. Showing oh. pictures that Matt. Not really what I said. Open the phone clone. There we go. Uh, so we don't say app. Uh, just open the phone clone. Now, as you see, uh, you do need to be relatively like accurate with what you say so if you have like some stronger accent than i do you might struggle with this as you've seen it opened up some whatever gibberish that it detected that i was saying but once it detects that you're saying what we actually need to say and what we are saying uh, it will open up this app right over here so 
from here we can progress further now we might need to grant access to different things but not exactly sure so i'm gonna select this is the new device right over here I'm gonna select allow next thing we're gonna select uh, dot migrate data from apple realme or uh, oneplus i have xiaomi so i'm gonna select other android and it gives us this QR code. So we're basically good to go right here. I'm gonna move it to the side. Bring the phone from the beginning on which I already downloaded the app. And as you've seen, like I said, it shows us the camera. So now we just get camera over this QR code. Oop, scans it, connects these two devices together. It will automatically select, uh, I think everything or everything that it detects that there is something on the device. So what you actually want to do now is basically deselect everything. There we go. And I'm gonna tap on the apps themselves. Um, and from here, you want to select, I believe just a single application. Now it does not matter what app you will select. Just choose anything that has the least amount of space. Let me just make sure that I'm doing this correctly uh, because that is at least how it works, worked. So just need to make sure. So it looks like actually in the guide, uh, it's Showing to basically migrate most of the things, but can I just select things like messages, contacts? There's nothing there. I will select just a single application. There is too many apps to actually go over this. Uh, the more apps you have on this device, obviously, the longer it will take. And we really don't care that much for it. So I'm gonna select me remote, which won't even work on this device, I believe. So anyway, that's good enough. So I selected, uh, as you see, messages, which there are none. And then I also added a single application. So total space is 58 megabytes selected. Now I'm gonna select start migrating. So transfer complete, I'm gonna click done. It's installing these apps right now on here. So I'm gonna lock this, move it out of the way and come back to the locked device and wait for it to finish up. So there we go. Migration complete. Let's click on done. And as you can see, we are now on the next page. From here, we can select our desired gesture or uh, navigation style. So I'm gonna select gestures. Obviously that's up to you. Then uh, unlocking method, I'm just gonna skip this for now. I really, you don't really need to like select anything important right now because we still need to perform one last reset of the device. So just select whatever is quickest for you. Oh, there we go. So once we have access to our home screen, you want to navigate to settings right over here. Scroll all the way down to additional settings. Scroll down again. Select backup and reset. A reset phone. Erase all data. Erase all data. And once you press on that button one more time, it will begin factory resetting your device. Now this will take a couple minutes to finish up. It's completely normal. And I'm not gonna go over this on the video just because it is a simple reset of the device through settings, but it is important to do this as a last step. Now, let me explain why that is so. So, once you press on this button, erase all data, it will perform a factory reset. But when you're doing a factory reset of the device through settings, the device is forced to remove any kind of protection from the device. That will include screen locks, Google accounts, and any other protection that you might have on this phone. So, therefore, by doing this through settings, the reset, the phone unlocks itself. 
Now, once the reset is finished, you will then be back in the setup screen of your phone, at which point you can set up this device however you want. It will be fully unlocked so you can add Google accounts, you can skip signing into your Wi-Fi network if you want to. Like I said, the device will be fully unlocked so it will act as a, basically a brand new device. So there we go. So with this being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.